What's up everyone? So today's video, I'm gonna be going ahead and installing lights in the garage. So we're still moving stuff in, still getting stuff situated, but we went ahead and got ourselves these amazing sombreros. Um, no, those are right here, but we have uh, these lights. So I did some research through Amazon and whatnot, and this was the brand that I came across. Let me see if I can see it. It's called uh, Suncor, I believe. Anyways, let's rip it open. So these are them, we got 10 of them. So, that's what we got. Yeah, Sunco. So it's these Sunco LED lights and they are uh, chainable. So what we are going to do is install them. And um, right now the power source is just this one bulb. So I just have this one here. So my idea of what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn that into a receptacle and then place uh, two more receptacles, one, one, and then one, one, so that we have essentially four bays of lighting. Um, because what I'm anticipating is <clears throat> if you had three cars in here, you want the light to be between the vehicle and not directly on top. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna put one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, two on the very end. And I think that should give us a ton of light. So that's eight. And then I'll do one here and then two, one over there as well. So we'll do that. And then they also have um, switches on them. So you can use a little pull chain. So um, if there's any areas that we aren't using at the moment, we can also use that little pull chain. So that's the plan. Um, we'll get some wiring done and then we'll start hanging these things. Okay, so we're working with this light. It's gotten pretty dark outside. We have the Jetta and the Ram outside. Jetta does work now, but I'll update you guys shortly on that. So we have all our receptacles now hooked up. We ended up doing four. So we got four total and um, they all work now. So now we should be ready to do the fun part, which is hang these. And the nice part about this plug and play setup is I can just uh, plug things in and uh, keep everything on so we should be able to see here shortly is the the goal so I can plug these in and keep just adding more as we go and being able to see so should be nice let's plug these in so the first one is hung that's how she looks eventually I'm gonna get some better hanging I'm just using the hanging materials or, or um, hooks that they give you in the package it's just kind of like the old-fashioned you know chain and hook type deal they're super light I'd say they're super bright I I'm pretty excited to see what 10 of them is going to look like in here, so it should brighten this place up. Um, I'm still deciding on the spacing, so the nice thing with just putting these hooks in here is um, we can throw it on here for now and play with the spacing. Of course, that's the nice thing with this plug and play setup is we can always move it around as needed. Um, but I just want to get it up here for now, and then uh, we can always shuffle things around slightly, but this is the plan. One there, one there. We're going to do um, two here, and then two more here and two more on the end and then probably one here and one here um, assuming by this doorway here because we might uh, ultimately end up pulling a car in and the engine and the hood would be open here I would assume so I think that would probably make the most sense but again we can always move stuff later if we needed because you can actually daisy chain three of them so even if we wanted to put the two over there afterwards it's uh, it's no big deal just to put them over there and plug them into the, the two that are going to be running this way so let's continue and uh, we'll see how she looks. I probably should show you guys what's in the box. It's super basic. Um, you just have this chain thing like I was telling you. You got the chain, the hooks. I get some uh, screws if you're going to be putting them into drywall, perhaps. And then uh, that's it, just a plug. So like I was saying, not much to it. They are very light, but they just have like a million of these LED chips on it. Again, these had really good reviews on Amazon and they weigh nothing, but Obviously they're doing a good job. Let's get the rest of them up.
Holy moly, check this out with even four of them, guys. And we still haven't done over here yet, but once we have another two here and another two there, this place is gonna be lit up like a candle. So, should be pretty cool. Keep going and see how she looks. All right, here it is, boys and girls. I am loving this. It is pitch black outside, and it is bright as day in here. So just for reference, this is how dark it is outside. And it is literally like daylight inside. How cool is this, guys? How cool is this? So, um, I still have, if you guys can see on the back wall there, I still have two more left. And uh, I haven't put them up yet. I don't even know where I need them or if I need them. You guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you were to rearrange these or arrange them, where would you put them or how would you arrange them differently? My logic behind the whole thing is, okay, two car garage, right? So if you put a vehicle here, you would want lighting there, but I'm not gonna put these right up against the wall. So I went, I wanna say about three and a half feet. It's about 45 inches. So I guess uh, I guess it's a little bit more than three feet. Um, I guess um, four feet. But anyways, we went there and you figure a car would be parked here. So it's pretty much on the side, maybe a little bit on the roof line. And then if this is the middle divider, I went just a little bit um, on the other side of that. And um, my reasoning for doing that is I think this would be just a little too close if I was right dead smack in the middle. And then I wanted to take advantage of this between the garage doors. But then if I put that smack dab in the middle of here, it ends up being too much of a gap from this light to the next light. So these are pretty well evenly spaced if you can see. Um, and I think this is a decent way. The only I guess my only thing is, is I have good light against the back wall here. I still have appliances and stuff. I have to get out of this, uh, out of the garage. Just still uh, doing house stuff. But I think what I would do is I would put the last two that I have here, maybe the opposite direction, maybe there and there. So I was thinking of putting one here and one here. And I think that might complete it. But uh, let me know what you guys think again in the comments below. Which way would you guys orientate these? Because um, the nice thing about these is they're just little screws with hooks and I can move them around wherever um, if I want to adjust them, if, even if I want to go over here. I've got enough cable, I've got enough slack up there. If you guys can see the wire, I can move back this way or that way. It's just plugged in, so no big deal that way. It's a nice thing about these. They're not hardwired in, so I can move them around as I please, but I think this is gonna do it for now definitely gets the job done and if we have to um, fine-tune them or tweak them definitely can be done but this is where I'm saying I think over there maybe one there and one over there is probably what I would do I think you guys can see how long the cord is right so if the cord is that long I think I could go it looks like it runs about two joists right you know one two and it makes it it spans I guess whatever one two so it would make it one two which would put it on the last joist going this way so i think that might be the ticket guys is put it on that last joist going there and the last joist going here running off of this circuit because you can run up to four of these off one it says so i think that's probably where the last two would go if we needed to but i mean honestly this is plenty sufficient and i'm sure by most people's standards overkill but at least we can uh, have good lighting in here. Once we get all the cleaned up, um, still moving a bunch of stuff. Once we get all this stuff cleaned up and we can work on projects day, night, whenever, and um, we can see what the heck we're doing. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. Make sure you're subscribed. Any comments or questions or suggestions on the lighting, be sure to leave a comment in the comments below and let me know what you guys think of the lighting. 
and how you guys would orientate it or you know situate it in uh, in this garage if you guys had the options and maybe I'll, I'll take some of your guys advice I think like I said I might add those two over here but um, let me know what you guys think as always guys thanks for the support and now we got a space that we're gonna be able to do a lot more video and content in and we're gonna see what the heck we're doing so I'm excited for the future and uh, thanks again guys we'll see you in the next video